All right, but anyway, I'm just gonna do this tier list anyway, and you know, it is what it is, but let's go in. So we put this here, Vayu, Blackwing. This is like the hybrid version. I've kind of been like more interested in this version lately. Um, I just think like the speed of it might be good against things like Dragon Turbo. Um, and I'm kind of vibing with it. Um, I'm gonna put the fish deck, we'll, we'll, we'll wait on that, but I think I'm gonna put it up here somewhere. The junk frogs, probably worse than the other frog versions. The hero frog, maybe up here, but like probably here. <laughs> um, Diva frog, I think Diva frog low-key kind of good, but it's still probably over here. Um, So this is just like Diva Hero. I kind of think Diva Hero, maybe up here, maybe top of here. This is like the OTK frog. I don't know where I want to put that yet. This is like a, so I have, the, I have a couple hero versions here. I have like Diva Hero beat, um, which I think is very strong. So you think you know Wix has a deep brain trouble? Yo, this is just a crazy Wix ad in the middle of my middle of my damn music or you can create your own graphics i use this okay so i gotta get past that uh this is like the light stun hero i would say um the stuff that like got i think third at the ycs um i think that this deck is pretty strong as well um and then i just have like regular hero i kind of just left this in because i mean there are versions that don't play the skill drain or don't play as heavy stun stuff, but they also don't play D.Va. But I kind of feel like if you're not playing D.Va, you might as well be playing the more stun oriented stuff. So like if you're just gonna supplement the D.Vas with like Snowman and Ocean or Crystal Seer or whatever people wanna do, that just seems kind of ass to me. But uh, you know, it's still like a deck that exists. Um, this is Machina with the Gadgetron stuff. Uh, this is not very good. Machina Gadget, I think probably like is good. I'll reorder this stuff in a second. The Machina Flip with like the Raikou stuff. Um, yeah, probably in here somewhere. Uh, probably about as good as Machina Gadget. Maybe Machina Gadget's a little bit better. Um, I have the Dark Guy Norlaris deck. I mean, I'll put it. I'll put it in here somewhere. The Vayu Norlaris deck. I'm gonna also put it in there. I mean, no one wants to play against those decks, but they're like not very good. Um, I'm gonna do Red Eyes and uh, the Red Eyes like flip deck that I played. It's actually, actually is pretty nice, like, and that guy Rob did well with it, so I'm gonna put it up here. The Dragon Turbo deck, I don't really want to put it S+, plus, but, like, I think you could really make the argument that it is. Um, I'll put it, I'll put it solidly in the middle there. This is, like, the, the dragons with the, the more pure dragons, I guess, like, disaster dragons. I put DD Worthy on it, but obviously I don't have to play DD Worthy. Um... And so I'm gonna put it like, it's still like, okay, but I honestly think it's like kind of trash. This deck is probably good, but I just don't really wanna think about it for the second. This is Chaos Fairy. Um, I think Chaos Fairy is probably, this is a tough one. I mean, maybe I'm just gonna have to push this stuff down. I, I, I don't really care about Chaos Fairy. I, I might put it in who cares personally, but it definitely is like a fine deck. Regular Fairy, I think like also a fine deck. I, I think you would be hard pressed to say whether Chaos Fairy or um, regular Fairy are better. They're like the same to me, like some pros and cons, but same engine. Christia Sworn, I think is quite good. 
Um, I would probably put it about up here. Yeah, I think I put it like up here above the aesthetics. Um, regular Light Sworn, I probably put like, I don't know. I haven't really found the build that I feel like makes it make sense, but it definitely is really strong. So that's like a deck I feel like could be refined a lot more. Ojama, I put that on as a joke, so we're gonna put it in who cares, although like there probably is some crazy Ojama build. Um, Glads, yo, I know that like minority opinion, like, and definitely a little bit of who cares, because anytime you play Glads, you're kind of just coping, but I think Glads are legitimately pretty good. Maybe we can play some Glads on the stream tonight. And like, I would probably go so far as to say like Glads are probably like, I don't know, like here, like, I think they're probably like there, like maybe people are gonna call me crazy, but like I would so much rather play Glads than basically like any of the decks below here. Um, aliens, a little bit who cares, but like these are I guess like legitimate decks. Um, macro, who cares, but like it's good. Uh, I mean, we can drop Ojama, you're joking. But Gravekeepers, I think Gravekeepers are also kind of slept on. Um, they're probably like good enough to be ranked, you know? Um, Amaryllis low key is kind of who cares, but like maybe I'm maybe I'm sleep, you know? Nah, I, I think this deck is like kind of fake. I think Amaryllis is a good card. Um, it's an expensive card, but like, I think it's a bit fake. Like it just doesn't really do anything. I've, the deck, the games that they win, I feel like they're just like high rolling you with like normal titanial stuff, like the foolish, opening foolish uh, lone fire stuff. And then like the Amaryllis are sort of incidental on top of that. Like quick draw, quick draw plant, um, kind of same thing. I'll put it as who cares. I mean, it, it's like fine. It's probably like in here somewhere. Uh, quick draw machina. This is like not really a deck anyone plays, but it's a deck that I've messed around with. It's like also probably in here. Uh, maybe maybe a little better than that, but probably in there. Um, this is zombie. This is like Welladad. Uh, zombie with the power well. I think the power well is probably like the worst version of the zombie stuff you can play, but it's still like a pretty solid deck. So I'll probably put it like the bottom here, most realistically. Like I could put it top here, but like probably bottom here. Um, maybe it's even better than these. Like it does have a lot of OTK potential. Um, but the ultimate offering zombie, that never really caught on, you know? I thought it was a cool list and people didn't really want to mess with it, but I think that deck is still quite strong. Like, probably put it a little above Glads. You know, a lot of these zombie variants are probably like roughly close in power level. Diva zombie, I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that Diva zombie is kind of like tired and true, the best one, even though like, I don't really know how much that means, but it's like gotta be up here somewhere. Maybe just like, I mean, ultimate offering zombie is basically Diva zombie, so I can put that up there too. Eh. Yeah, sure. Um, this is like plant zombie. Um, that deck's pretty much fake, I guess. Although it's kind of a cool idea. Um, the Instafusion zombie stuff, I think it's kind of cool, like more like hand rip oriented, like when they Urbellum you and Reaper you and Reaper. Um, oh, like I said, Prism Glads, Tigerless Glads, or with or without Prisma. Yeah, I didn't really feel like doing all those designations, but most of the versions that I play are, I use like Hamster and stuff. That's the stuff I've been using recently. Um, honestly, Glads just like don't warrant enough attention for me to like go into each of those like positives and negatives, but I think they're like all roughly about the same, like probably Prisma and the hamster builds are the better ones, like Tigerless, just like stun ones, I think are pretty bad. Um, Instafusion Zombie, I'll put up here. Um, Dark Gaia, I mean, yeah, fake, fake deck, who cares. Um, X Saber, low key, I think X Saber's kind of good. I mean, something better than this, like, probably top of here, sure. Uh, this we already did with Dragon Turbo. Cat Plant, you know, shout out to Snack. I just thought I'd throw that on there kind of as a as a funsy. But uh, I think Cat Plant, you know, I like Cat in general. Let's do Cat first. I like Cat more than I think it gets credit for. 
Um, it can be very fast and like rip your hand a lot, which can be really annoying. So I'd probably put it like here. Yeah, like I think cat is, I don't know, is cat a better deck than fairy? It's like pretty close. I'm just, I'm gonna just leave it there and worry about it later. But yeah, cat plant, plant cat, um, probably just like worse than playing the other cat stuff, but uh, yeah, I'd probably put it down here with like zombie, zombie plant. That's like the same kind of vibe to me. Um, what else we got? Slam veil, who cares? Literally, yeah, kind of you're joking, but like literally who cares? Um, gadget, just like straight gadget. Pretty bad, but like maybe could do something. Um, yeah, down there somewhere. This is like the Kuraz, like Gadgetron stuff. Um, sort of who cares, but like, you know, I kind of disappoints me that that Carpath uh, stopped messing with that deck, because like, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I thought it was a cool list, but realistically, yeah, I mean, it's like down here. I do feel like there's there's kind of room for it to do something, like room for it to be optimized. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take a crack at that sometime. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It should, it should just kind of like um, Mayberry Yo Yo, what's up? Hell yeah. Um, Kozaki s out of frame. Yeah, Kozaki is breaking completely, just like off the charts here. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, uh, didn't mess anything up. So, the Gemini deck, yo, this deck is actually cool, and I think it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's like better than X Savers, but I think it's good. Um, I'll put it at the top there. Assault mode, who cares? I kind of put it on there as a joke. I might, I might even drop you joking just so Ojama doesn't get lonely. Like power tool plants, like the extent to which that's kind of the same deck as like zombie plants, I don't really know. It's a deck that I kind of messed with for a while, the power tool plant stuff. I think it's actually pretty good. It's really fun to play. Um, I'll put it, I'll put it right here. Um, Six Samurai, I'm sorry, but you're joking. Like someone asked me the other day, they were like asking me to take a look at their Six Samurai deck. Um, and he's like, I really like tried to put in a lot of, put in a lot of work on, on this deck. Like, uh, is there anything like, what would you do? You know, if you, you're good at like feel, taking these bad decks and I'm like Six Samurai is like a deck that I never want to touch with like a 10 foot pole. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think Six Samurai doesn't have the tools, you know? But uh, but this is the thing. I mean, let's now let's let's recalibrate a little bit because Vayu and S plus that might be a little that might be a little crazy. Like we can probably I don't know though. This kind of is what I feel like. This is like for you know one bite. What's the what's the uh, Dave Fortnite like bar stool like one bite pizza whatever. This is like one shot of me making this tier list. But let's see. Vayu and S plus, I mean, that's crazy. Like that's crazy to be up there alone saying it's so much better than everything else. But at the same time, like, can you really deny that? Like it kind of just is more consistent. It kind of has all the tools. Like the deck is looking pretty nice right now. Blackwing, I feel like Blackwing might even low key have to go down. Like if we're, if we're talking about conversion rates and all that shit. Also just every time you enter a tournament, like Blackwing, people are like gunning for you. You know, it's like people have so much sideboard hate. It's the one matchup that like everyone like, like no one does sideboard plans, right? Like no one that's like not that good does like sideboard plans, but like everyone ha knows exactly what they're gonna sideboard Blackwing. So I feel like it just gets kind of hated out in a way that maybe like does it kind of a disservice. Um, Dragon Turbo is not this good. Let's be fucking real. Um, Diva Hero B, it's probably not better than Blackwing. It might be better than Hybrid. I just don't know enough about Hybrid yet. Like you could you could pop that up there, I think. I don't know. Blackwing are really nice, but I think I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna keep it like this. Hero Frog, it's just like it doesn't really perform that crazy. Like it's good, it's definitely really good, it has a lot of tools, but like doesn't perform that crazy. Christie Swarm, that makes sense to me. Diva Zombie, these should probably be a little bit lower, I think. They just like haven't really been performing. Um 
the zombie deck, the the dragon deck, I think is probably a little worse than zombies. The light beat deck, that deck is ass. I don't know why I put it so high, um, but it is better than like glads. I don't know, maybe it's not so ass. It's better than Lice Farm. Um, fish. What do I actually think about fish? That'll probably that'll be a good little segue because we're gonna look at the fish replays from from uh, my tournament. But our fish better than Dragon Turbo and Christia Sworn. I think so. Are they better than Dragon Turbo? Yeah, I just don't like Dragon Turbo very much. I'm gonna say Christia Sworn better than Dragon Turbo too. <laughs> I just keep drop, dropping Dragon Turbo down. How about that? Nah, I'm gonna leave Dragon Turbo there. I think DB Hero might be better than Dragon Turbo though. Um, I think I think this is looking good. The zombie decks, yeah. I I don't have like enough knowledge about these different builds, but Pure Light Sworn, Diva Frog, yeah, sure. Jump Frog, Glads, Machina Gadget, Machina Flip stuff, Cat, some other. I mean, this is probably still. Like, I just don't see much like reason to play it. That's really the whole. Like, it's definitely like actually a very good deck. It's just like I don't really see much reason to play it over Diva or Skill Drain, like stun versions. So, um, but let's see what else. How has the stream been? I don't know. I started recently, and it's fine. Initially. I had trouble because I was a boomer, but what's up, Snack? Um, we're gonna go over our game in a second, like literally a second. I'm just gonna finish doing this. Um, what do you say, Machina can't be lower than GB? Loki, they are. You know what, I'm gonna say they are. GB are good, and the haters can, you know, long side or whatever they say. Uh, Chaos Fairy, that deck is so ass, but like it's probably good enough. Like is Gemini better than Chaos Fairy? I don't know. Um, Welladad, this might just be my bias. I don't want to be a hater and be like, oh, Welladad and Fairy so low. But, yeah, like this zombie version, there still might be better than Cat. I don't know, Cat's kind of nice though. Cat looks kind of nice sometimes when you play against it, but maybe it's just actually bad. I'll probably leave it something like this. These, I'm not even gonna go all the way back through. This This frog deck, the, the combo frog deck, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna leave it as S plus and make everyone lose their mind. No, I'm just kidding. But like, I can't really tell how good it is. I know, like, I I know what kind. Of, it's hard. To, you can't really evaluate it on the same axis as these other decks. But like, I'm gonna leave it as S plus and make everyone lose their mind. Whatever. Um, yeah, this is all. This is all fine. Like, are these decks probably better than like some of these? Sure. Um, Maybe I'm rating Amarillo's too low, but I don't care. So I'm gonna lock it in with this. We're we're locking it in. Um, I think there's also like, I can put the link to this or something just so y'all can look at it too, or like make your own or whatever. You know, sound off, sound off in the comments if you, uh, you are overrating Flip Dragons. Uh, no, I'm not. I might be, I lost to it today, so I'm, I gotta be. This tier template, yeah, I had to make one my own. That's the thing, I said right at the beginning, like like I saw yours on Snack on the tier lister thing, and uh, like, I mean, yours was fine. It wasn't an issue with you, but it's like, I, I felt like I, the whole point is like to talk about kind of the builds in relationship to each other. So like being able to be specific. And also I always see the comments in these videos are like, wait, is this referring to this or is this referring to this? And like, hope, like, is this talking about Diva Frog or is this talking about Jump Frog? And like, hopefully this, uh, this can quell that a little bit. But yeah, I'm, I think this is, yo, am I getting an ad right now? For toilet paper? We know that Yu-Gi-Oh players don't wipe their ass. Uh, okay, so we're gonna keep it moving. Quick stream, quick stream. This is like for the ADD generation.